We are here outside Asda about to go and get some Pokemon. Let's see what it got. I am on a mission to find out where in the UK has the best value for money Pokemon cards. And today I went into Asda and I bought all the Pokemon cards that they've got. And I came out with this. A V Powers Collector's Tin, a Booster Pack, a Farfetch Collector's Tin, and then this collection box of Paul T. Geist. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to open all these live on camera for you right now. I'm going to tell you how much they all cost. And then you can decide yourself what's the best value for money. And not only that, but you can compare it with all the other episodes when I go to all these different places. Then you can make a decision for yourself where you think the best value for money Pokemon cards are in the UK. This is what I'm going to start with because I think this is, for me, the one that looks the best. And it's the Pikachu V tin. Nice little art on the box. You got your Pikachu. Pikachu's the most famous Pokemon, isn't it? And besides Charizard, it's probably the most sought after card. Here we go. I've managed to get it out of the bubble and let's let's put it under. There we go. Look at that. So you got your Pikachu, 190 health, 30 attack, 30 attack. But that's a lovely one. That is going to be walleted up, isn't it? And inside. The rest of it, you got your, your code card, and then you got four packs. You've got Sun and Moon, a Sword and Shield, and then two Darkness Ablaze packs. So uh, let's let's go Darkness Ablaze, shall we? And then the most of the box is empty, you know. Most of the box, just so you know, is this big plastic thing. It's not that you're getting loads in there. These four packs would fit in like that. I suppose you could keep your collection in this box. It's a nice little tin for someone. Not sure what I'll do with it. Let's get into this Darkness of Blaze pack now. Let's throw the, the card, the code card to one side. I think this is Darkness of Blaze, isn't it? So this should be four. Let's get it. Energy. Okay. That's what you want to get energy first. Get that out of the way. Gothica. Pokemon Breeders Nurturing. Combuscan. Paris and OP, I love it, you love it. Gothica to go with the uh, Gotharita earlier. Skarmory, come on, that should be a shiny a Skarmory, surely. Cupchu. Wimpod. The reverse is a Cuff Ant. And then behind it, we have got the Vanillux. Okay, I don't think I've had a Vanillux before. That's pretty cool, it's like a double ice cream. Right, let's let's get into this this Charizard pack. That's because we would love to get right now to open this and be able to pull out that shiny Charizard. One, two, three, four. Let's get into it. We're starting off with a Water Energy, a layer on behind it, old PC, Ariados. Ah, I said it right this time. Pansia, that's how you make your steaks. Mareep, my favourite of the second gen. Snubble, another second genner. Taurus, an OP. I love it. You love it. Come on. Rookie D. The reverse is a Mel Metal, which is a rare. And behind it, we have got a Diggersby. Okay, so two packs down. Nothing exciting out of them yet. Now we've got this. It's another Sword and Shield pack. One, two, three, four. Okay, that's a good sign. We're starting with a Water Energy. Galvantula. Galarian. Linoon? Galarian Linoon. Energy Switch. I don't think I've had one of these packs before, by the way. Clobberpus. The Fighting Oxpus. Cottony Joe, where did you come from? Where did you go? Tutel. Rhyhorn, yes, an OP. I love it. You love it. Rookie D. Another cuff ant reverse. Didn't we get that a couple a couple packs ago? And a Galarian Rapidash. Oh yes, an OP. I love it. You love it. Okay, so we three packs in. 
and nothing too exciting has come out of them yet so maybe this tin isn't that great maybe it's a bit of a dud the tin no oh, we'll get into it in a minute I'm not sure I've got the card trick right. Grand Bull, I did three. So we got Grand Bull to start. Double Colorless Energy. Pukamuku. Okay, that's like a Korean sounding name. Drowsy and OP. I love it. You love it. Rowlet. Tarkoal. Zubat, another OP. Grubbin. Is that that's the reverse? It's a steamy. Wait, okay, at the end there's the energy right at the back. And there we go. A Desi die. So 15 quid for that one. We got no good pulls. Okay, that's 15 quid. But for, you got four packs for 15 quid. That's the good thing. That's good value for money in that sense. But if you're gonna open them and not get anything good out of them, then what's the point? Let's get into this Farfetch tin. So in here should be, I believe, two booster packs. And this one costs 10 quid, 10 pounds, 10 English pounds, for those of you who are not familiar with the Paulance. But yeah, 10 quid. So 10 quid for two packs, five of a pack, basically. You do get the tin. Obviously, you're gonna get a couple extras inside the tin, but mainly you're looking at the packs, aren't you? You're not really looking at the tin, anything like that. So, right, first thing that's coming out of it is this. It's a little chip. Looks a bit like Sonic, to be honest with you. And then inside we have two packs and a special card. So it's not really a Pokemon card. It's a card with a Pokemon on it, but it's not a TCG card. It's just a random card with a Farfetch'd on. Not too sure what I want to do with that. Right, so we've got inside that a Darkness Ablaze and a Sun and Moon. So let's crack them. We'll crack Darkness Ablaze first because we're Charizard hunting. Everyone's Charizard hunting. We all want that Charizard. So, one, two, three, four. I believe we're gonna score. Come on. Starting off with an energy. Get it out of the way. Corvus Squire. My second favourite Squire after John Squire. Lunatone. Struggle Gloves, aka Boxing Gloves. Taurus and OP. I love it. You love it. A Rookie D, we're getting loads of Rookie Ds tonight. A Galarian Mr. Mime, Mr. Mime is an OP, I love it, you love it. A Electric, a Dino, a Turbo Patch is the reverse, which is a little disappointing. And then behind it is a Galarian Dark Manitan. So, nothing great out of that pack. Five packs down and no pulls so far. So, Asda, you're letting me down a little bit, you're letting yourself down a little bit. I'm putting you on blast out there to all the people, so let's get that code card out of the way. We're going to go four this time, I believe it's four. Yes, we're starting off with an energy. Well, what is this pink energy all about? I, I don't know what that is. What is this pink energy? Okay, we've got Rotom Dex, Charger Bug. Okay, it's a different, different looking one than last time that I saw. A Rainbow Energy, a Poplio. A Wingull. Oh, I'm seeing Shiny at the back. Are you seeing Shiny at the back? I'm seeing Shiny at the back. Surskit. Young Goose. Litten. Torkoal, which is the reverse. And behind it, we have got a Taurus GX card. And it is an OP. I love it. You love it. I am very happy with this card. I'm not sure the value, it's going to be up on screen, but that's a lovely looking card. So, this pack, you get two packs in there, and out of that, I pulled the Taurus GX card. I've never had a GX card before, and I love the look of that card. That's a lovely looking card. If we just put it back under here, 180 health, 60 attack, 30 times attack, 20 plus attack. So, decent card. Right, let's let us let's, let's do this one now. Let's just get this one out of the way. This one is just a random bo booster pack. Comes in one of these. It's got the security protect thing at the back. But this is five pounds twenty. So five pounds twenty for one pack. Now bear in mind, you do get this, which is a Wooloo holographic. 
So you, you're getting a holographic, okay? It's a promo card, they're not worth much money because it's a promo card and you can just pack them so easily within this pack because you can see it from the front. You get a chip inside here, which is this. Okay, and then here's your pack. It is a sword and shield pack. We're paying five pounds for a sword and shield pack. Yes, it has come with a hollow on the front, but we want a hollow in the pack, not on the front. We're not fussed about on the front. We want it in the pack. So, we're starting off with an electric energy, a galvantula, air balloon, not hot air balloon, just air balloon, pokey kid wearing a Pikachu outfit, ponyard, Sizzlepeed, okay, Sizzlepeed looks pretty cool actually. Yamper, nice little dog Pokemon. Everyone, everyone loves a cute little dog, don't they? Clobberpuss uh, for the second time tonight. Cottony Joe again, or oh, not night, whatever time you listen to this. A Krogunk Reverse Hollow. And a Gengar holographic card in the pack. It is an OP. I love it. You love it. That is quality. Okay, so that's that's not too bad. Now this one was twenty pounds for this collection box. Now the thing with these collection boxes is inside you're guaranteed to get this V card, this giant V card. The only problem with that is, because you're guaranteed to get them, they're pretty valueless. They're nice for a collector to have, but again, because there's no frilling opening them, this like Palti Geist card here, it's pretty valueless. And it's giant as well, so like it doesn't really fit in with the other cards. So I'm not a big fan of these, I'll be honest with you. Now the smaller version, yes, I do like the smaller versions a lot more because they do fit in with the other cards. But again, because you're guaranteed to get it in this set, it just completely takes away all the value from it. So, yeah, I'm not too sure about it. So, inside there, you're getting four packs. And you get one, like, two Rebel Clash, a Steam Siege, which I hear terrible things about Steam Siege, and a Sword and Shield one. So, we'll open the two Rebel Clash first, just get them out of the way. Let's get rid of the cord. One, two, three, four, yes. Right, energy. Milo trainer card. Turfield Stadium. Lombre. Voltorb, okay, it's an OP. I love it, you love it. I'm getting a lot of Voltorbs recently. Nose pass, okay. We're getting a Wingull. A Phantom, a Bronzor, the reverse is a Dan, so again when I get a reverse and it's not an actual Pokemon, it, it kind of takes me out of the game a little bit, and behind that we have got a Magmortar, not a Holographic, okay, so let's get into this other Rebel Clash one, get rid of of the little code card one two three four starting off with a fire energy that's a good sign we love a fire energy we gotta be aware cracking that out there a speed energy get that out of the way pelly pepper poly pocket whatever magma yes op i love it you love it come on electabuzz op i love it yes that's true you love it too squove it oh was that shiny at the back I think I might have just seen the shiny back. Sonova. Natu. Ah, oh, okay. So what I saw as a shiny is the reverse. It's a Galarian Meowth. And behind that is a Scizor. Okay, Galarian Meowth. Obviously, it's an OP. I love it. You love it. Steam Siege. This can be the penultimate pack. Because I've heard bad things about Steam Siege. I won't save it for the end. Now let's get rid of the code card. I don't know the card trick. I'm gonna go three just to be careful. I don't think it's three. I think it's gonna be. F mm, I don't know what to do. Should I do three or four? Right. Anarith is the first card out of the pack. 
Persian. OP. I love it. You love it. Okay, not a Persian recently. Claw Fossil Anorith. An Oshawott. A Pawniard. Oh, there's two cards there. Ponyta. OP. I love it. You love it. Come on. Let's get it. Clink. A Mantine. The reverse is a man. Oh, so we've gone back to back with Mantine there. Mantine to Mantine. And then in the back is a Cobra, Cobra Lion. Okay, pretty decent card. Pretty decent looking card. I don't know why Steam Siege gets so much hate. If, if you guys know, hit me in the comment section down below. And now we're in the final pack. Give me them good vibes. Let's crack it. Oh, it smells holographic. It smells holographic. So let's take it out of the wrapper. Take away the card. One, two, three, four. Let's get it. We're having energy. Great ball. Potion. Ride on. Yamper. Clobberpus again tonight. Cottony Joe again tonight. Tutel. Raihon OP. I love it. You love it. Hoo Hoo is the reverse. And in the back is a Dreadnought. Ladies and gentlemen, that is every single pack from Asda. So, to wrap it back up, I paid £20 for the, this Paul T. Geist box. And we got no pulls from the Paul T. Geist. Obviously, it came with this this card, and it came with the bigger one, but no pulls from that one. For £20, that to me, is terrible value for money. Like That's that's my opinion. You guys can obviously make your own decision on that. Then I had, I had what was in this, which was a single booster pack. Now, in that booster pack, you were guaranteed to get this Wooloo, but then inside it, we got this Gengar. So... For £5 to get both of those, and you're going to know the value of this game guy now because it's been up on screen, I think that's very good value for money. Now, of course, that's luck, but the fact that it happened is great. I would have thought that within this Paul T. Guy's box, because you're getting four packs, you would have been guaranteed at least two pulls, but you got no pulls, so you know, for 20 quid, why bother? Then we had the starter box, which was this Pikachu tin. Inside the Pikachu tin, all we got if I remember correctly, was this Pikachu card. We got no pulls out of it. That's all we got. And then inside the Farfetch tin, which was £10, we got this Taurus, which again, I think that is good value for money. Where do you guys fall on it? What do, you, do you think that this is better value for money than what I got from game? Or do you think the game one is a better value for money? Drop me in the comment section down below. Which was your favourite card that I pulled out of all of this? I'm probably going to have to go Pikachu myself just because I love the Pikachu, but I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. And do you know what? In hindsight, getting this GX Taurus and getting this Gengar, these are two really lovely cards that I'm really glad that I got. And these are definitely going to be sleeved up and the Pikachu's also. We've got three from the original OPs with great cards in that. What, what do you guys think was the best one? Did you enjoy this? Where should I go next with Pokemon cards? Drop me all that in the comment section down below. Thank you very much for watching. If you made it this far, hit the thumbs up button. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and I'll be back soon with more videos.